Dream Series. Hi, I'm Pauline Lynham, Community Outreach Coordinator for Arkansas Career Pathways at Arkansas Northeastern College. The focus is on the job application. Most companies will ask you to fill out their standard job application. The job application is designed to help the hiring manager spot your strengths and weaknesses quickly. Here are some tips for filling out the application. Here is a practice application for you to complete. Remember, neatness counts. A neat looking application says that you take pride in your work. A sloppy application with lots of crossed out information and mistakes says you're a sloppy worker. Try to answer every question. If a question is confusing to you, ask for help. If you feel that question is inappropriate, leave it blank. If a question doesn't apply to you, write not applicable. And don't give an expected salary. You may price yourself out of a job if it's too large or look desperate if it's too low. Instead, just write open. Next, look at the type of employment design. Let's say, for example, the company you really would like to work for only has part-time openings at this moment, but you've only checked full-time. There's a possibility you wouldn't be called in. Next, let's look at date available to start. Be careful with this. If you're working somewhere else, be sure to give that employer a two-week notice. Here's an example of several questions that could be on any job application. Go ahead and fill it out. At least when you have this completed, you'll have it ready for your next job interview. Sometimes there are some tough questions on an application. For example, have you been convicted of a felony in the last seven years? By all means, answer truthfully. But before you explain everything on this application, I suggest to put on there would like to discuss in person. This gives you an opportunity to explain what had happened in the past and that you're not the same person. When it comes to references, make sure you have permission to use a person's name before you offer him or her as a reference. But remember back, this should be easy for you now because you've already got them ready for your resume. On the work history part of an application, if you already have your resume completed, it makes it so much easier to complete an application. But if you don't, that's okay. Go back to the Dream Your Dream series and click on the resume link. It will make it so much easier to complete an application once your resume is done. Under the duties performed, be sure to give a brief overview of the work you've done in the past. If you're not sure, Look back at your resume. Just be sure don't put, please see resume. Employers don't like that. Now, under the reason for leaving, don't put that you quit or you were fired. Just simply state personal reasons. Again, when it comes to filling out your education part on an application, refer back to the resume. And be sure to list any relevant or specialized training that you've had that would impress a hiring manager. On many applications, you have an opportunity to list any additional information you feel would be helpful when considering your application. This is your opportunity to list all your skills and abilities that you feel that would be beneficial to this job. Be honest on any application. No exaggeration, because any misrepresentation or omission is sufficient grounds for immediate dismissal. Don't forget to sign and date the application after you read the agreement. Be sure to complete this application and bring it by and let one of our counselors, either Beverly Rogers, Mary Gaston, or Barbara Baker, read over it for you.